sabes amor Yo siempre te he encontrado En cada malva que florece Y en cada pájaro que canta Hey YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists who have low subscribers and low views as well as talented artists from around the world. Now, once again, I have no idea or the reason why they have low subscribers or low views, but I'm going to bring it to the forefront on my channel for us to view. Now, today I'm going to do my best to upload about five reactions and I will let you know on these particular artists as I'm going along. So my first reaction of today is going to be Juan Gabriel and I've got the title of the track here so please please forgive me if I pronounce it wrong. It's Yo T uh, Ricudio. I think it's that. Now, I believe that this is ha a collaboration with a famous artist, actor, uh, when I mean by artist and actor. And I think this art um, actor has um, been in a relationship with either J um, Jennifer Lopez or Madonna. I don't know which one. I think it's Marco, uh, I think his name is, or Antonio Marco or something like that. I don't know. It didn't state there. So I'm waiting for you guys to send me a number of comments to inform me, to educate me, to guide me well, with more information on this particular um, song collaboration. Um, so all I know is um, Juan Gabriel is on there um, in his um, um, later years rather than his early years. So I've done, I believe, two reactions of him in, in, in his younger years and this will be my second reaction of him in his um, uh, um, older years. So I'm looking forward to this so much. So that's going to be my next react, my first reaction of today. But before that, if this is your first time coming over to my channel, then please go over to my homepage and work your way from the bottom all the way up to the top because there's some fantastic, amazing artists which I do not want you to miss out on. And I simplified it for you. You, I've broken it down into various musical categories. Just remember, when you go into these individual categories, these are artists from around the world, both established artists and non-established artists. And I promise you, you will not be disappointed. So look, let's go straight into my first reaction of today. So without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a Damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? What's his name? And was it J-Lo or was it Madonna that he went out with? Has he got makeup on? Our Juan. Sabes amor, yo nunca te he olvidado. Te recuerdo en cada estrella siempre que aparece. The living legend. Sabes amor, siempre te he recordado. Te miro en cada flor que el colibrí se ofrece Sabes amor, yo siempre te he encontrado En cada malva que florece Y en cada pájaro que canta There you go. So I'm gonna stop it right there. It's almost like everybody that comes after um, Juan uh, Gabriel emphasizes the emotion when they sing. No one can't emphasize the emotion when they sing 
any better than um, Juan Gabriel. I've seen him from when he was young. I've reacted from when he was really young to um, to his present time. And there's something that he does when he's on the mic or around the microphone. He shows how humble he is. And he did this humbleness just comes oozing out. He praises the audience. He praises the musicians. He praises everybody else before he thinks about himself. You can clearly see when he goes onto the stage, the last person he thinks about is himself. And the first thing he thinks about is pleasing. Pleasing the crowd, pleasing the musicians, pleasing the aura, pleasing the stage. And within that, you get the respect back when you've got the audience singing uh, with him, when he lifts up the mic or when he just takes a breath or when he, when he wants to embark in the what is the audience or what is the aura of the audience, collect, collect the energy was coming from the audience. You always see that. And that humbleness is always, it's driving him through even down to his present time. Even when he got on the mic, he was sort of like put his hands together and he was feeling every kind of in musical instrument that was playing before he even started open up his mouth to sing. It's this massive appreciation and love for music that you clearly see oozing out from him, which is absolutely amazing because even down to this time, he's been in the game for God knows how long. He has done a number of thousands of thousands of songs. And where you think that someone would retire and just chill out, he's like, no, <laughs> you know, this is what I was born to do. And this is what I'm going to, this is what I'm going to die to do, you know, and you can clearly see it. That even if he was, it was a case of, if he had his a last breath, would he sing or would he tell the world that he loves him? You let me know. I'm going to go back just a little bit. Brings out the best in people. I swear my son or Jane Lowe went out. Maybe Jane Lowe. He hasn't lost his power. It's just more of a humble. It's more of a humble nature. That was Juan Gabriel with Yo T Aricudio. Um, let me know about the pronunciations. I don't feel confident enough to pronounce it in the way that it should be pronounced. Um, I know that I've got it totally wrong, but I, I would like to know how close I was. Um, to pronounce in it. Also, please let me know about the other artist, the actor, or is it a dancer? I swear that he has something to do with Jennifer Lopez or Madonna. I am, I'm, I'm, um, and I'm not too sure if he was a dancer or an actor now. Uh, but 
I think it's of that kind of nature. He's done it justice. He has done it an amazing justice. And to be fair, most actors can sing. They're designed to sing. They can actually sing. You'd be amazed on the number of actors out there that you see in movies that if you see them elsewhere singing you, it will absolutely blow your mind. Juan Gabriel, he is a living legend. And like I said before, I've never met a somebody, I've never seen somebody that's throughout the whole period of his time as being a singer has always been so humble on the stage. Like he likes it, he's catering for us and he knows he's catering for us. You know, you've got some singers and artists that go on to stage because they love to sing and they want to sing because of their personal reasons and their belief. And, and they don't normally put ourselves first, which is okay. You know, it's okay to put themselves first. Um, and because, but you will hear the difference in textual voice of somebody that wants to sing for us and somebody that's singing for themselves. You can clearly hear it and sing it. And there you go, um, Juan Gabriel, that's like, he's just been magnificent throughout his, his whole career. He really has. And it seems to me that even if he, he's moving with the times, he's moving with the elements, and he always has. He has transcended over many generations, and he's still on top. There's only a handful of artists that, trans that transcends from generation to generations and modernize themselves um, within generations and generations. Keep themselves above water um, and keep themselves um, both, um, um, what's, what's the name, uh, it's both established. You know, they're in the mix, so to speak, and they have never died down. You can, tell, you, can, you can count on the number of hands, the amount of artists that have been and come and gone, come and gone, come and pop gone, tried to stay with the test of times, but not actually made it. And because time is the master and time will always mess them up. But when you've got someone as flamboyant as Juan Gabriel, that never says never, that always wants to sing, that has so much passion as he does. He fights the test of time. He fights time. And he always modernizes himself and to fit with the times. And that's why he's loved for so many, why he's respected by so many, and why he can carry out even songs right now that, was, that so many will love right now. It's unbelievable. That is so much respect and love if, I, if, if you've ever seen it. And for that reason, I salute you. Absolutely amazing.